Hi everyone, this is Kathy. Welcome to my channel, Kathy Mamelin, Psychic Medium. Welcome to a timeless collective love reading for all signs. Today we're going to ask Spirit what is coming towards you for love. Please use these readings to manifest the love that you are worthy of or to confirm a love that has come into your life. So it could be all signs for you, all signs for the person that you may be thinking of. It is a collective love reading. So welcome everybody. Welcome back. Welcome to anybody that's new. If this is the first time Spirit has guided you here. I'm so grateful. Let's see what Spirit has for you for messages of love today. Spirit, if you could please share with me. This is a fully channeled message. I am listening for you now. Let's see what we have. Stay strong. Okay, you're stronger than you think you are. It's like a dragon. Look at him. <laughs> it's a big, it's a big green dragon. Stay strong. Okay. You know, those days that you have that it's hard, I'm tired, I'm lonely, I don't want to do this anymore. Um, you are stronger than you think you are. I have a new day dawns. Yeah, I was just feeling that. It was a sense of, you know, if you're having a bad today, today, tomorrow's a new day. And this feeling of there's always a chance. And I always like doing what I call a do-over, where if my feet hit the floor in the morning and I'm not quite feeling like myself and I kind of take a deep breath and and I just say, I got to start this day all over again with a different attitude and, and more optimistic and and just kind of like reprogram my mind. So take a do over when you need it and just kind of restart your day when you need to do those types of things for yourself. It's a little little game I play with myself, but it does work. Uh, let go of the old, look at you, spreading your feather, showing off, proud peacock, um, being proud of yourself, being proud of everything that you do achieve and all the other areas of your life that are working well for you. If this is the one area of your life that you struggle with right now. It doesn't mean it's forever. It just means that, you know, we're waiting for divine timing and we're waiting for um, some other things to happen that are perfect alignment for you. So be proud of the things that are working in your life. And then look at this gorgeous card. Know your power and, and just full speed ahead. I mean, just charging ahead, knowing your power, powerful um, energy within you and that you have so much to offer and, and be proud of that. Be proud of how much you have to offer, how much love you have to give. Welcome back, everybody. Welcome to anybody that's new. Uh, please remember to hit that like and subscribe button. Thank you for your kind words and comments always. Spirit, please share with me a new day dawns, a new day dawns. I, I love that. You know, it's, it's how about just it's a new day and it's a new day. It's a new love. How about that? Um, you know, it's this feeling of, hey, today may be the day or today's the day that our person reveals to us their their feelings. I have a wheel of fortune. Luck is on your side. Absolutely. Three of cups. I have a page of wands. And I have a high priest, a high priestess. OK, so the feeling the first feeling came in with that of course you know luck is on my sides and then this sense of the page coming in came into me as um i have a crush on you is how it came into me that hey you know what i'm taking notice of you or i just noticed how amazing you are or i just met you or i am feeling feelings for you, but I'm definitely attracted. I'm definitely, I always love this card. Look at the little cat. Like even the cat looks like it's moving forward with confidence. Like that's the most confident cat I've seen. You know, it's this feeling of, I feel like this is right. And I want to move forward to, with it. I feel like, um, I'm grounded. I'm going to say that, that you could be feeling very spiritually grounded right now, knowing that there's a new day coming, there's a new love coming, and that you're trusting and that you are hopeful. So your energy is very positive. Your energy is very spiritual today. I, I love that about you. So let's see what else they're saying. Yeah, you know that this is a journey. You know that you're ready to meet the person that's supposed to be with you. This is new love. It's coming into me. This feels 
feels like I haven't met this person before. I'm opening myself up to whatever it is spirit has for me. I want to go through all the seasons. I'm, re I'm ready to start this journey. So I love this feeling of somebody coming into my life that I, I can feel it. I, it's, it's a... I know that it's around the corner or I can feel them and I've just been patiently waiting for them. I've been working on other areas of my life. I've been building up myself. I have been, um, I'm going to say finding my power again. And, and that's probably what's going to attract this person to you. They're going to see you as this uh, powerful force of life, that you've got your act together, that you are independent, that you, if you're taking care of kids, you're a great parent, that if you are juggling, you know, work and kids and life and or school, or you've got juggles, you know, that you can juggle lots of things. And in the sense of, you know, not giving in, I'm going to say it that way. Spirit, please share with me this new love. What is this new love? I have a five of swords. I have a six of cups. I have an eight of swords. And I have a hermit. So Part of me feels like you guys have been through a past lifetime together. I will say that. I feel like we struggled in a past lifetime and something separated us that we felt like we were left alone or you left me behind for some reason. And all I think about is when I was with you in that past lifetime, it was a really good connection. So I do feel a true soul connection here coming into me today. I do feel like we've shared a past life, but I do feel like a sense of an abandonment or a sense of that's something I have to struggle with in this lifetime. It's an it's a internal wound in me, a karmic wound that I carry with me. So I struggle with opening up. I struggle with letting someone in from past lifetimes hurts. But I want you to concentrate on the memories of these were really good times and that you were really comfortable and happy with this person. I also feel like this is the person I, I definitely feel a future with. I feel the sense of truth and honesty with this person. So there is a feeling of I want to be with this person and I just want to override um, those past life hurts so that somebody would abandon me. This person wants a commitment and it could be as simple as somebody saying to you, you know, you're the person I want to share my life with and I'm not going anywhere. And for those of you that just want to hear those types of words, let, let's let's claim that today. Let's claim the person who comes into your life who makes you feel secure, that makes you feel like they truly do want to be in your life and they truly do want to be um, in a committed relationship with you. So claim that below. That would be a beautiful thing to claim because look at this commitment. It's like I'm honest with my feelings. I want to create a family and a life with you, a happy home with you. I see it all with you. And this is somebody who is able to commit okay whatever commitment means to you but they're not going anywhere that is that is the message this is somebody who says hey trust me i don't want to lose you as much as you don't want to lose me i'm not going anywhere there's a sense of they want to make you feel emotionally secure they don't want you to ever worry about this is going to be taken away from you or that um, something better is going to come along. So if, if you need to hear those words, the spirit's letting you know that this is the person who's going to let you know that this is somebody that um, is going to make you feel that security, that sense of emotional security. I have wings of love. Love is transforming you either by flying in or flying out. But I'm saying flying in. I feel like the transformation is coming towards you. They had said it's a new day. Um, it's new love. And you are going to, um, you know, be open to this new love coming towards you. Fate, destiny, luck is on your side. Fate is guiding and helping the connection and luck is with you. So, a little bit of a um, 
a feeling of wave your magic wand, um, a little bit of a feeling of uh, taking a deep breath and, and saying, this is the person that I've been hoping for. This is the person I was waiting for. Um, I just knew that it was going to come along. I just didn't know. I also like this infinite, um, I love this in, infinite love, you know, this sense of infinity forever, you know, forever and ever. And this, this, it's I'm not going anywhere it is really something that you must need to hear that it's not that you're insecure. We all want to hear that the person that we're investing our time and energy into um, isn't going to just up and leave one day because they decided that they want something better. Um, it's this feeling of, no, we're in this together is how it's coming into me. I have sweetness. Patience is now required. Relax and enjoy the sweetness of life. Let the universe take care of the details. So a little bit of a feeling. One, I'm going to say your person has a sweet tooth. I want to throw that in. It was almost a feeling of every bakery we walk by, they have to go in. And I don't care if it's a cookie or something chocolatey or certainly a candy store. Um, they have to stop. They've got to, they've got to at least look. So your person has a, a, a very high sweet tooth. So keep that in mind. That could be something that makes you laugh or you might know um, exactly what it is that they're what they want, but um, enjoy, enjoy what the universe is giving you right now today, friends, family, um, be proud of yourself. They had said in the beginning, you know, just, just this feeling of you're doing amazing and you are exactly where you're supposed to be at this moment in time. You might not have everything that you want, but you have everything that you need secrets, hidden intentions. This person may hold back their feelings. They may be saying, um, you know, I, I want to be with you. There could be somebody around you now that that has some feelings for you. We had that page of, of wands earlier that is like, whoa, who are you? Who are you? And what are you all about? And I want to get to know you. So somebody could actually have their eye on you or be checking you out. You know, they're, it's, a, it's a feeling of they're checking you out. Um, I, I feel I like that. I, I, you know, whether they want to get to know you, they're asking about you expose. There's nowhere to hide. I feel like they're seeking you out even like they know where you hang out or they know who your friends are, are. now that they've met you and they're attracted to you. I feel like they're going to put their energy in front of you as often as they can. So there's nowhere for you to hide until we both figure out like what this connection is. I feel like they're going to be seeking you. Um, they're checking you out. Out and they're seeking you. Um, there's a feeling of I'm looking for you. I'm constantly trying to put myself in front of you. I don't think it's a coincidence that you have been seeing each other, a mismatched pair. Uh, you may feel like this isn't somebody that I'm going to say opposites attract as opposed to mismatched, that it might not be somebody that you would originally have said, this is the person I would spend the rest of my life with. But the way that this person is kind of coming into your energy where they put themselves in a place where they know they're going to bump into you or they know they're going to see you again. They know they have a chance to talk to you, um, that they're, your paths are going to cross. I feel like this person is seeing something in this connection that you may not see right out of the gate, but I'm going to put it as opposites attracting as well. I think that's important. You are irresistible and there is an intense attraction. You are irresistible. I, I like that. You know, this, you're, they, they're attracted to you and they're saying, I want to be with you. I'm, I'm going to put myself in front of you and I'm going to have a conversation with you or I'm going to smile with you or I'm going to flirt with you. And Spirit's saying, just be open to this love, even if it's somebody that you wouldn't normally have thought that would be in your life or it's not somebody that you would normally date. But just remember, if the people that you normally date or you keep attracting the same types of energies don't work for you, be open to spirit showing you that there could be something else for you. There could be a different type of person, a different type of personality that works better for you that you'll be happier with. So um, be open to that. Spirit, please share with me. I have a four of wands, a commitment, somebody who wants a commitment, 
I have a nine of pentacles, a sense of security. They want the security. They want to bring you security. They're ready to move forward with this connection. Again, this feeling of, I don't want to let this go. And I am open to moving this thing forward and them trying to put their energy in front of you. You could be coming out of something. Maybe you're just hesitating. I'm not quite ready. I don't want to jump into anything. I'm, I'm waiting to see for the right person, the right timing. Um, but, you know, we, we have choices, but sometimes we don't want to ignore what's being put in front of us. Um, because you're not 100% ready for it. Just remember, you can continue to heal. You can continue to grow wh while you're meeting somebody new and falling in love. You're, you can multitask. You can do lots of things at the same time. So you can heal and fall in love at the same time. So and don't be afraid of starting something new if you are coming out of something, um, you know, and you really do feel like you're ready to move on. I have a queen of swords. It's up to you. I do feel this sense of strength, ace of swords. I knowing the truth, king of swords. Look at all this sword energy, this feeling of. I know you have feelings for me. I can tell. I feel like we put it out in the open. I, are you attracted to me? I'm attracted to you. There's something going on here. So these conversations that we're having, whether they're initial or they start to become more in depth, um, I feel like that is going to be the glue. It's going to be this intellectual or um, emotional connection that says, I just enjoy talking to this person. I look forward to talking to this person and I want to be with this person. They find you irresistible. I love that. And I love this sense of they're checking you out. Um, you know, like they are definitely attracted to you. So they're checking you out. You're checking them out. And at the same time, you're getting to know each other. So you can see that there's a physical attraction, but there's also this honesty and truth. And there's also this sense of tell me your deepest secrets. You know, there's a little bit of a, of course, the cards are very playful and they're very animated and um, they're nostalgic, but it's more of a playfulness. It's more of a teasing. It's more of a, um, you can't tell me that you're not turned on by me, you know, energy. So I think this person and you are going to have a very playful banter and enjoy that about each other. Actions speak louder than words. I want you to look at how they are, um, going out of their way to be in front of you. They're going out of their way to be where you are. I can't imagine life without you in it. They're already starting to think about what my life would be like with you in it. I want you in there. I want you more than ever. I want you. So somebody has their, their heart and eye set on you. If this hasn't come into your energy, this is just a manifestation reading. So just... Think about somebody coming into your energy that, um, you know, is kind of going out of their way to bump into you. <laughs> I want to say it that way. Um, I will tell you soon. You're the one for me. I want to open up to you. I want I want you to know that I have feelings for you. I want you to know that I'm attracted to you. You are my favorite obsession. I love that. I do feel that way. You're irresistible. They're checking you out. They're seeking you out. They are wondering, you know, when am I going to bump into you next? Just for a chance to see you again. Just for a chance to say hello. To see. Um, what your reaction is going to be. One look and I knew it was lust at first sight. So you're my favorite obsession. I am definitely thinking of you. But even lust, I mean, you know, lust is a, in a playful way. Lust in a, I want your body. I, I can't wait. I mean, it doesn't mean that that's all it's going to be. It means that this person comes into your energy and you could feel the same way about them. And don't, there's nothing wrong with that. I want you all to myself and I'm feeling jealous. I don't want you to be with other people. I see you talking to other people when we're out. I see that people are attracted to you. I see a lot of people want to be with you. So I'm a little bit jealous. I want you to tell me your dreams so I can share them with you. I want to hear what makes you happy. How beautiful. And I know that you are my soulmate how gorgeous you are irresistible to this 
new day, new love. Let's put this out into the universe. I want to thank Spirit for these messages today. If you're new to my channel, please remember to hit that like and subscribe button. Thank you for your kind words and your comments. If anyone would like to book a private reading with me, please check out my website at kathymamelandpsychicmedium.com.